3,000 years old. Wow! <laughs> Welcome to Hypothetically Dope. My name is Michael Joel, and it is time for episode four of House of the Dragon. This show gets better and better each episode. We're building up. We got Damon. Supposedly, he killed the crab feeder. Don't know for sure if that was the crab feeder's body. Didn't show him killing him, so you can never be sure. We had the king and his wife celebrate their son's second birthday, Aegon. We have Rhaenyra maybe going to find a husband. A lot of stuff going on. I'm just going to jump into it. Episode 4, House of the Dragon. Let's go. Alright, this episode is called King of the Narrow Sea, by the way. From Prince Daemon. The view across the marches is inspiring. So said Queen Alizan herself when she honored my father and I. And tell me, Lord Undarion, did you think my great-grandmother is beautiful as they say? This was half a century ago, Princess. Yes, it was. <laughs> that was unseemly, Princess. The man is older than my father. It's unseemly for him to put himself forward as a contender for my hand. Ah. Next. Just going through the line, huh? This young chap. And now a child. House with a formidable army. Fuck you, lady. And the Riverlands, they... If chosen as your match, princess, your day shall be easy and night safe under my protection. Protection? The princess has a dragon, you dumb cunt. <laughs> dragon! I'm gonna have to like that one. Uh, let us have the next. So we may go to supper. Craven. Come on. Ooh. We're leaving. Here we go. Kill him! What an end to this ridiculous pageant. Oh! That's what you get, bro. Who you think you talking to, son? Yeah. I'm fine. Damon. She's happy to see him. Got a haircut. I wonder how long it's been. Nice crown. Add it to the chair. You wear a crown. Do you also call yourself king? Once we smash the triarchy, they name me king of the narrow sea. Ah. Uh. But I know that there is only one true king, your grace. My crown and the stepstones are yours. Rise. Okay. The realm owes you a great debt, brother. Come. New haircut, can it change his attitude? Probably not. 
but as I said, you with a she already had the second kid. Must have been a while. I surmise the tour did not go well. I enjoyed it as long as I could. Have every young knight and lord in the seven kingdoms fawning over you. What misery. How romantic it must be to get imprisoned in a castle and me to squeeze out to heirs. No offense. I find I have few friends, baby. I like to believe I'm still the Lady Alicent, but all anyone sees when they look at me now is the Queen. I've missed you too. Oh, we're getting a little reconciliation. Amazi not kepen no cheme vindi gantoliat izi. Though I do suppose you seem changed by your adventures. You matured, perhaps. You've matured yourself these last four years, Princess. Four years. You'll get used to the attention. The Stepstones were meant to be one for the realm, but over the past few days, it seems we have traded a crab feeder for a sea snake. This is clearly a rebuke for passing over Lady Lena for Queen Alicent. Years have passed since the business with his daughter. Certainly, it cannot still be wrath. Lord Corlys is said to have engaged in negotiations with the Sea Lord of Bravos. He plans to wed his daughter Lena to the Sea Lord's son. If House Valarian entered into an alliance with the Free Cities, then we would have to seek our own marriage pact. Uh oh, these snakes get more. Oh, it's a girl. Good night, Sir Kristen. Sleep well, Princess. Dirty laundry? What is that? Secret passage? What is going on? She never knew that was there? Oh. It was a disguise so she can sneak out? Trust that dude. Whoa. Whoa. She didn't seem too disturbed by it. Is this Aria? Do you wish to know your death, child? No. Damn, he's still getting those? Let me take that. You gotta put some cushions on that throne, bro. You have a far kinder touch than they do. Thank you, husband. And now we come to the matter of the great iron chair. <laughs> and whose bum it might bear. Our good king names his daughter. A girl. His heir. We get another play? <laughs> A son! <laughs> but would she make a powerful queen? Or would she be feeble? Feeble! Though Egon the Babe Prince might long for a claim, he has two things Rhaenyra cannot. A conqueror's name and a cock. Mike, <laughs> slander! Mm. Yeah, just if you will. But many of the small folk like to believe that as a male, Aegon should be the heir. 
Mm. Their wants are of no consequence. <laughs> a four copper street rat in King's Landing, we pay for our pleasures. Hey, stop! Boy! Wait, I'll find him. Enjoyed that, did you? Mm. You know he's got our next taste freedom. <laughs> Oh, God, is he going to try and marry her? Pardon me, Your Grace. The king has requested your presence. The hour is quite late. Yes, Your Grace. They don't sleep in the same room? Oh, man, what's going to happen? She looks like she's having fun. Her smiles at all this stuff is a little bit uh, concerning. I'm not going to be able to show any of this, but you've seen it. What? No. Don't do it, Rhaenyra. What are you just mm. doing? What we want. I know she's Targaryen, but dude, what the fuck? Fucking what we want. Dude, what the fuck? I did not think it would go here. Dude, how old is she in real life? This is weird. Damn, if the king finds out, I wonder if he's gonna be pissed or what? If he's gonna be happy that she found somebody? Damon? Having second thoughts, are we? Uh oh. <laughs> How the hell did you get past me? Princess, are you, are you hurt? I, I shall alert the Lord Commander. My helmet. <laughs> you finished? Thank you. She's still trying to bang. Damn, she's a little horn dog. Wow. Dude, is he gonna get in trouble? King finds out. I mean, I thought that they would eventually, but. <laughs> he looks so sad about it. It's like, fine, jeez. Well, we're getting our sex quota on this episode. A messenger brings word from the white worm. Oh, we got a spy. White worm. No more gray worm. This will cut the fog. Why do it need protection from a common or I'm mm. not so common. You never were one to stay idle. Hard lessons are not welcomed, but suffered. Oh. So she was the one tattling on Damon to the king. Right? Mm -mm. I have um, discomforting news. I thought it best shared discreetly before the council. I'm afraid it concerns the princess, my king. I had considered saying nothing, but... What has she done? 
More like, who has she done? The princess was spied last evening. Beyond the walls of the keep. In a pleasure house. What of it? She was carrying on with her uncle. They were engaged in behaviors unbecoming of a maiden. Oh, of a princess. shit. What behaviors? Oh, God. Damon and Rhaenyra were seen together. I mean, they didn't bang. Huh. Oh, uh-oh. This is a lie. You have been lied to. I only wish that were true, Your Grace. Who is responsible for this gossip? Have this rumor monger brought before me at once, and I will take their eyes. As your hand, I must maintain trusted sources of information, and this one as yet has never led me astray. Are you so sick with ambition that you would have my daughter stalked, spied upon? Awaiting your best chance to destroy her reputation. I have no such intent, Your Grace. You think yourself a cunning man? Your designs are obvious. Do you wish to have your blood on the Iron Throne so badly that you are willing to destroy mine own? Just mm -hmm. get out. Oh, man. It seems true, though. Like, they were making out and stuff, but they weren't banging. Is that what coupling means? Mm-mm. How much did you hear? Dress, Sonora. Come. Don't think it's Sonora. <laughs> Princess, I have a message from the Queen. Uh-oh. What does this mean? What happened last night? What do you mean? My father has made some worrying allegations about you. Were you with your uncle? Oh, I... I haven't seen him in years. He took me into the city for some fun. Tell me the whole of it, Rhaenyra. Your father accused me of something. Was I drank wine, left the castle after dark. But you fucked David in a pleasure house. Hmm. There it is. This is a vile accusation. I Is mean, it? you Targaryens do have queer customs. And Damon certainly knows no limit. Alison, your grace, sister, you must know I would, I would never. I mean, you cannot believe such gossip. You would have, no if he didn't pull away. He could not have witnessed such a thing. Why not? Because it did not happen. I mean, we we made out a little, but I am the princess. To to question my virtue is an act of treason. He reported it to the king. Mm mm. Da heard. Daddy knows. So you are accusing me of slanders? You over her? I only want to help you, Rhaenyra. We drank in a tavern. Several taverns getting late and I asked to go home but Damon wished to continue as he was my escort I had no real choice so you did not now with him really refute that. Damon never touched me I swear this to you, upon the memory of my mother. The king has strived to find you a good match, and so have I. If that lord were to think that you were being... sullied, it would have 
ruin everything. I know. Your grace. I regret it. Mm. The king demands an audience, my friend. <laughs> Take your fucking hands off me. Oh, God. Things are getting real awkward real quick. My daughter. Won't you even deny it? I need to understand the charge before I can attempt to discredit it. You defiled her. <laughs> when we were in Nira's age, we fucked our way through most of the brothels on the street of silk. We were young men. She is just a girl. Your niece. Nira is a woman grown. Better her first experience be with me than some whore. You have ruined her. What lord will wed her now in this condition? Who gives a fuck what some lord thinks? You are the dragon. Your word is truth and law. I have spent a lifetime defending you. Mm. But your heart is even blacker than I thought. I should disinherit her. As I already did you. Be done with it. Wed her to me. When I offered up my crown, you said I could have anything. I want Rhaenyra. I take her as she is and wed her in the tradition of our house. Oh, man. You are already wed. That didn't stop Aegon the Conqueror from taking a second wife. You are no conqueror. You are a plague. Sent to destroy me. Give me Rhaenyra to take the wife. I knew it. And we will return the house of the dragon to its proper glory. Of course. It's not my daughter you lust for, is it? It's my throne. Go back to the Vale, Damon. To your lawful wife. Strive to restore whatever scrap of honor remains in you. Or don't. Matters done to me. As long as you are gone from my side for good. Damn. Okay. It is not in Rhaenyra's nature to be deceitful. I cannot say the same for your brother. You believe you lied? How often does he speak the pure truth? How does confessing to such things serve him? By reducing you. Whatever transpired, Rhaenyra is not innocent. She swore to me that she remains a maiden. And I believe her. So Damon did that on purpose to get the word out to the king. So he would know or think that she was defiled make it easier to marry her he's probably like oh shit please don't tell him please don't tell him uh oh am I gonna carterize something uh oh is it gonna be his penis that dagger once belonged to Egon the Conqueror it was Aenar's before that. And before that, well, it is difficult to know. Before Aegon's death, the last of the Valyrian pyromancers hid his song in the steel. From my blood come the prince that was promised. And his will be the song of ice and fire. Isn't that the dagger from Game of Thrones? With Responsibility. Bran? I have handed to you the burden of this knowledge. It is larger than the throne, the king. It is larger than you and your desires. Hmm. Jaehaerys would have disinherited you. For a lie? You've yet to ask me for the truth of what happened. The truth does not matter, Rhaenyra. Only perception. You have exposed yourself. Now we must both suffer the consequences. You are a born a man. I could bear two men if I wanted. I could father a dozen bastards, and no one in your court would blink an eye. You're right. But you were born a woman. So you will strip me of my titles and name Egon in my stead. I would. Mm. But it is mine to hold the realm together. 
not sow it with further division. Your courtship is at an end. You will wed Selene or Valarian, and you will do so without protest. The son of the sea snake. So I can be a remedy for your political headaches. You are my political headache. Ooh. <laughs> <clears throat> Your wedding to Selena Valarian will unite the two most powerful houses in the realm. With the combined strength of our shared dragons and naval fleets, no one would dare to stand against us. And what will you do about the vulture who perches upon your throne? What vulture? Your hand. Otto Hightower has served two kings loyally and faithfully. He wants Aegon to be named heir. And he will stop at nothing to see it done, including spying on me to bring about my ruin. I will do my duty, sir, and with Selena. But you must first do yours as king. Oh, man. Your grace. My father was a hale and healthy warrior and dragon rider at the peak of his abilities. Jaehaer is named a great royal hunt. To celebrate him being named the Hand of the King. Five days later, my father lay dead. It was a grim day. I recall it all too well. Yeah. It was a good day for you. Jaehaerys named you Hand in Balon's stead. That's hardly how I viewed it, Your Grace. It was a duty. You are the man that taught me how to be king. Well, you honor me, Your Grace. No, wait. <laughs> Just five days. You went from being another man in Jairus' court to the second most powerful man in the realm. I wonder. How long did it take you to choose yourself over your king? Uh oh. Your Grace. I will never recover from Emma's death. But Alison. She took me through the worst of my grief. She was a calculated distraction. I only now realize how well calculated it was. That is an absurdity. The Queen loves you. As I know you love her. Your interests no longer align with those of the realm. Your judgment has been compromised. Oh, shit. The crown and the realm. Both owe you a debt that can never be repaid. But fuck off. But I can no longer trust your judgment. I mean, there is some truth to that. Oh, man, this episode is good. I took great care in its preparation. I'm sorry, what is that? A tea, princess. From the king. It will rid you of any unwanted consequences. Plan B? Plan B, T? I was gonna say, what if she got pregnant by, uh, Sir Kristen? That's it? Oh, man. Wow. That was, that was heavy. That was heavy, Doc. So that little boy spy that told Otto what they were doing, like, it seemed like he was, you know, one of Otto's guys, but he came back and gave Damon's wife money, gave her the money that Otto paid him. So was it her that told the little boy to go tell on Damon? Was it Damon's plan? What was it? Something worm. Small worm? I don't know what it was. White worm. I think it was white worm small worm <laughs> uh damn okay all right man that was quite the episode wow that got real weird real quick so was it damon's plan to make it easier to marry rhaenyra or to hurt her claim to the throne but why would it even matter because the king already has a son so it's either going to be her or him so if it was it's within his best interest to marry her and then she sits on the Iron Throne. 
and then she hooked up with Sir Kristen. I, I hope he's not punished if uh, they find out about that. I wonder what's going to happen to Damon now. He's just going to be sent back again to go be with his wife. Or his first wife, I guess the king was saying. And then Otto, stripped of his title as Hand of the King. It's true that he was egging on his daughter to, to spend time with the king. And you know, that was his plan the whole time. To try and marry her off to him. And it worked. When they were banging, she didn't seem too happy. If she did have feelings for the king, I don't think she does anymore. And she's just kind of doing it as a duty. So now Rhaenyra said that she will go through with it and marry Lenor, the sea snake's son, to try and uh, get him back as an ally. It was Damon's plan to take away her innocence. But at the last minute, it looks like he had second thoughts and didn't go through with it. But the word still got out that they did. Damon's back for one episode and he already gets himself in a heap of trouble. Rhaenyra, yeah, Rhaenyra is not very innocent herself. She was, I mean, I know she was drinking and, you know, but still, every time she was looking at people, you know, banging in the streets and stuff, she had a smile on her face, so it looked like she enjoyed all that, you know, all that weird stuff. And then came back and uh, took out her sexual aggression on poor Sir Kristen, <laughs> who didn't seem like he was having too good a time. And now, even after, it seems like he's having a lot of regrets. He knows something's going on, like the Queen wanted to talk to her and everything, so he knows he's probably shitting his pants. Thinking like, oh god, somebody knows about me and her, but little does he know, it was her and her uncle. Those damn Targaryens, man. So now Otto's out. I wonder who's going to replace him as Hand of the King. Yeah, that was a crazy episode. I wonder if Rhaenyra is going to drink the tea or if maybe she doesn't drink it and she ends up being pre uh, pregnant with Sir Kristen's kid. That would be, that would be interesting. But yes, let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Where do you guys think it's going to go from here? Man, this show keeps amping up. I'm hooked. Very invested. That'll do it for today. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.